Hey guys, Spanish Heart here. And this is a package that I got from, it looks like China. And I'm thinking it's my custom head sculpt from, from Troy McDevitt. So yeah, as you can see here, um, good old Canada Customs. Opened up the box and well, we're just gonna take a look at, hopefully as an intact head sculpt. been reading the forums online and there have been people who have been getting damaged head sculpts most notably the, the hair pieces so hopefully that isn't a problem of mine so hopefully Canada Customs didn't fuck up this package too badly okay so yeah, this is the start of part and here is the custom head sculpt. So just carefully take it out. I have to admit, they have good packaging. Um, there's foam pieces. The styrofoam cutout is custom made. So yeah, I'm impressed with that. Now for the moment of truth. So this is the head sculpt that was um, that I found out about like uh, around October of last year and uh, yeah I, again I've been harping on that uh, the head sculpts from um, XM Studios I wasn't totally satisfied with it but I, I seen the I seen the proto from um, Troy McDevitt and it looked really really awesome and I, I just couldn't resist so this is the head sculpt out of the packaging. So this is the Troy McDevitt custom head that I just received in the mail. And as you can see, it's intact. Uh, usually the breakage issues with this head coming from the mail is with these strands. But luckily for mine, there were like these foam spacers that, uh, that kept these intact. intact. And yeah, just even with the uh, Canada Customs uh, Opening this up, you know, this came in really, really good condition. As far as first impressions, I love the volume of the hair. It's just really reminiscent of the cock room and um, burn style as far as the comics goes. There's the uh, indentations and I love the highlights. Um, it is a bit auburn and more of the brownish tone compared to the, the original heads that we got. But uh, yeah, I, I'm really digging it. And as far as like the skin tone, it's, uh, I guess it's more of a, a whitish, more, more palish comparison to the heads. The lips are more lush and I, I love that aspect of it. There's more eyeshadow. Yeah, I love the eyes. The eyes are, are more vibrant in my eyes. And yeah, they don't look googly, which is a good thing. And yeah, it definitely looks more feminine and more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So yeah, it's just, there's a, a, quite a heft to it as well. I really like it. compared to the pre-order head, the original pre-order head. Uh, yeah, this looks more aesthetically pleasing. This is a solid head, don't get me wrong, but it's just the, it's just the look. It's just more comic booky, more, more flat in a way. It doesn't really, I don't know. It's just hard to describe. I guess these are the two most attractive heads, the archer head, and they compare really well to each other, but still I, I have to prefer this, as far as like uh, the volume of the hair. I just 
artistic expression. You can see the, the shade. And this Super CN3 head. I like to call it. The head sizes are, are roughly the same, I think. They compare really well, and as you can see, the forehead is really. You can see the forehead in this one. This one, it's a bit low, which a lot of people have complained about. But yeah, this is the custom head. It's a really solid head. Um, yeah, originally it was uh, sculpted by Troy McDevitt and painted up by Kenny Alessandro and the factory pieces were painted in the factory so the factory did a, a really good job there isn't the, the overspray that I've seen in some heads where the skin meets the hairline so yeah uh, comparing it to the pre-order head again just uh, you can see this the pre-order head is more, there's more of a pronounced point to the chin. The noses are, the nose is bigger in the, the pre-order head. The lips are more lush in their uh, custom. But if I had to compare, I think the, the paint apps are, are better with the thing, <laughs> with the XM, as far as like the finish. But the factory still did a, did a good job with this one, and I really like it. So yeah, there it is. So this is the comparison to the hair tone. You can see the highlights in the custom head. So yeah, I think they did a really, really good job with it. I'm really satisfied with it. If there is a, a gripe, it's the price. The price for this head is really expensive. I'm not really sure um, compared to the other custom heads out there for other characters where this one lies, but um, for me it was quite pricey, especially with the shipping. But then again with the custom route, um, it is pretty pricey as far as like um, the number of uh, heads that were produced. I think the, the edition was around 100 and it sold pretty quickly within a few days, so there was a demand for this head. Looking at, at it, I think it turned out really well. I really like it. Compared to the, uh, the heads that we got, I'm definitely choosing this head. So yeah, um, now I'm just going to put this on the Phoenix and see how she looks. So putting on the custom head, it's roughly similar to the pre-order head that we got. It is wiggling a bit, a bit back heavy, but the magnet's pretty solid, it's pretty secure. So this is my X-Men display as I have them currently, and the statues are backed by some retro posters that I managed to pick up online. I picked them up at, uh, at allposters.com and they were pretty cheap, and um, they run a, a promotion daily that gives out the codes for discounts. So if you see any posters there, you can probably pick them up for cheap. I really like, I really dig the retro look to them, and it's a nice throwback to the comics that I, I used to love growing up. So would I recommend this piece, commissioned by Tavej and sculpted by Trent McDevitt? Only if you're a huge Jean Grey fan, and if you're a huge fan of this statue, and if you're disappointed by the portraits that XM gave us. I will say that this is a pricey piece, um, the shipping alone was really expensive for me, but having it in hand, I have to say the build quality is excellent. The, the shading on the hair is well done, the volume is well done, the paint apps on the lips, the eyes and the skin tone are all well done in my opinion. I mean, I think it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye, it's feminine looking, it compares really well to the art German inspired portraits from, X, from Sideshow. And yeah, I think uh, Troy McDevitt did a really really excellent job on this uh, custom head. So if you're interested in picking this head up, you can probably find it through the forums in the buy and sell trade sections or through Facebook. Um, I think the, the original edition size was 100 so this might be hard to come by. It's probably
probably check for our other collectors selling this piece. Um, I will say that this um, head had does have its criticisms, especially, especially with the head size. It is a bit small, but not so much so that it disrupts the proportion from the body to the head. I mean, it's still aesthetically pleasing, at least to me. Um, so yeah, um, uh, I think uh, Tavej and Mike are really upstanding guys. I mean, there have been uh, <coughs> occurrences of damages with the heads coming through the mail, but the collectors who have received damaged heads have been offered uh, a full refund or uh, replacements. So those guys really stand by their product. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what they have uh, coming up next as far as customs go. So if you're looking for this, uh, for this head, I, I recommend it. But if you're totally satisfied with the, custom with the head that we had from XM, I'd say skip it. Um, this isn't an essential uh, must have piece to have. If you're looking for other options, there are other customs coming down the line. I think Mule has his Lena Headley head coming up, and Spidey Sean did express an interest in uh, sculpting a head for this uh, statue. So just uh, be on the lookout for those. Um, so yeah, and I have to say, I have to give a big shout out to Spidey Sean and to Wanderling on the forums for helping me get this piece. Um, I've seen, this, uh, I've seen the, the protos on the forums like last October. I knew I had to have it, and I hit up Sean and Wanderlei, and they pointed me on the right direction. So, yeah, if it wasn't for those guys, I wouldn't have been able to get this piece. So, yeah, I have to say thanks. Um, so, yeah, for me right now, I'm just waiting for the Sideshow Dark Side, which has been delayed, and it's a, a complete bummer. And I'm waiting for the Sideshow Dark Phoenix, and you know, looking at the head sculpts. Tr uh, yeah. Uh, Will Harbottle did an amazing, amazing job with those heads, and I can't wait to display them with the... Uh, I can't wait to display that statue with this uh, XM piece. So yeah, I mean, as far as the Spider-Man statue, I might bite on that, but that's still iffy, so who knows. So with all that said, um, this is Spider-Shark signing off. Thanks for watching guys, and, uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.